In the final two games of the 2022 Eastern Conference Finals, Jimmy Butler was a demon. He averaged 41 points, 9 rebounds, 4.5 assists, 2.5 steals, and he scored 47 points to save the Miami Heat in Game 6, and followed that up with a Game 7 where I'm pretty sure he just went Super Saiyan. I mean, people were bouncing off of this man. Butler into the paint, got it and won! Turns the corner and attacks the scene of the Celtics defense. There's a nice matchup, Butler against Tatum. Butler put his shoulder down and got to the rim. Here's Struess. Butler. Got it. Butler drive. Contact. And another bucket for Jimmy Bucket. But as we know, in game seven, this also happened. Smart. Bates. Fires. Butler. He can tie. For the lead. So yes, Jimmy Butler did miss the game-winning shot here, the shot that could have sealed his place possibly in NBA history. People wanted him to drive to the basket. People think he took this shot to seal his place in NBA history, but he is Jimmy Butler. He is the reason the Miami Heat were even here. He plays with the confidence of an NBA superstar in any setting, no matter who he is playing against. It is that type of confidence that makes him the player that he is. So yes, Jimmy Butler went to take this three. And Yes, maybe he should have driven. Maybe he would have drawn a foul. Maybe he would have even gotten an end one. But in Jimmy's mind, I don't know if he was thinking about immortality. I think he was thinking one thing. Kill shot. I think with that shot, Jimmy Butler was just trying to send the Boston Celtics to the metaverse. Unfortunately, as we know though, the shot did not go in. And so now Jimmy Butler is facing that criticism. And also Jimmy did miss that iconic NBA moment. What's more important though, is missing out on the championship. At the end of the day, the greatest playoff performers of our time win NBA championships. Michael Jordan certainly knows a thing or two about losing Eastern Conference Finals himself. But at the end of the day, he did seal the deal and win a lot of titles. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan if you didn't know, so I'm also a fan of Jimmy. And yes, Jimmy Butler's older. Yes, he's getting up there, but no one's talking about that contract anymore, huh? No one cares about it anymore. That's because Jimmy Butler's playing at a level we've never seen. So maybe in the next year or two, Jimmy Butler with the Miami Heat, with Bam, with Tyler Hero, with the cast they already have there. I mean, maybe they have one or two legitimate real chances at the NBA championship. And so the question to me is, is Jimmy Butler already the guy that steps up when the lights shine the brightest when everyone in the world is watching. We know he's that guy appearance wise, yes, but is he that guy stats wise? And so it is here guys that I want to introduce you to a stat that I have created, a stat called light score. Basis being in an NBA playoff setting when the lights are the brightest, who performs the best? Simple as that. And so in order to get light score, we are taking the main five points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks per game. Looking at the difference of those stats compared to each player's then playoff stats. And right there, there you have it. We have light score. And so it's here we can see the light score of both Michael Jordan and Jimmy Butler. And as you can see, these scores are remarkably similar. We're going to dive into the light scores of 13 of the greatest players of all time later in this video. But before we continue, guys, I want to give a huge thank you to Exter for sponsoring today's video. And I want to hit you with a question right away. Have you ever lost your wallet and had everything ruined? Either a weekend, a day, a job interview, something? Then trying to find your wallet, getting a new ID, replacing credit cards, it is a nightmare. We all know this. That is why I am very excited to bring you the last wallet you will ever buy, Exter. Exter brings together the luxury of classic leather goods and the invention of slim technologies that is the best of both worlds. With Exter, you're never going to waste time looking through bags, your pockets, the couch. With Exter, you won't be worried about losing your wallet, especially because it has a solar powered tracking device that works with an app on your smartphone. Exter is also super slim and super sleek. It holds up to 12 cards plus cash, and you can also access all of your cards with one click of a button. So guys, personally, I think this Exter wallet is really a no brainer. I am currently using it now. I have switched over my wallet to this wallet to this extra wallet. So thank you for extra for sponsoring today's video. Click my link to shop in the description and get 30% off. The link is going to be in my description. Again, guys, it's shop.exra.com slash Mike Corzemba. Thank you again to extra for sponsoring. And now let's get back to the video. And spoiler alert, Michael Jordan is number three on that list, which means Jimmy Butler is number four. The trash talk, the intensity, the will to raise your game to another level, the will to keep your team in games or even win games that you shouldn't even 
and be in because the rest of your team is folding around you, but you continue to thrive. Jimmy Butler and Michael Jordan certainly have that trait in common. And the stats show that. Jimmy is one of the ultimate playoff raisers of all time. It is now we're going to look at light score on a much bigger level. We're going to look at it again with 13 of the greatest playoff performers we have ever seen. The list in front of you is 13 of the greatest NBA champions of all time. Guys who were alpha dog players for their teams. Guys whose cities relied on them to win them a championship. On this list, we have recent names like Giannis. We have old names like Dirk. We have notable names like Chauncey Billups, the finals MVP. That's who I went with there. So I also went with the finals MVP with Paul Pierce. And I'm sorry, Andre Iguodala. I've already gone over. I think Steph should have won that award. And this list would not be right without Stephen Curry. And now looking at this list, in terms of light score, we start to scroll and we see Paul Pierce at the bottom. And there's shockingly Kobe and Shaq and Tim Duncan, Steph Curry, KD, Chauncey, there's LeBron, Kawhi, Jimmy Butler, Michael Jordan, Dirk Nowitzki, and Giannis. Giannis has a light score that is so high, 8.1, that it is quite absurd, I will say. The biggest reason being that guys like Giannis and Dirk do have the biggest difference in points per game. Giannis has a points per game difference of five in the playoffs compared to the regular season, and Dirk has a difference of 4.6. I will say, headed into this video, I had no idea what to expect at all. I was just looking for something to write about, about Jimmy Butler and his incredible performance. And of course, I wanted to tie it into Michael Jordan because recently you guys have been really loving the Jimmy Butler Michael Jordan short. And speaking of the Jimmy Butler video in the past, guys, right now it would be awesome if you could subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss another video or another YouTube short. With that said, let's get back to the video. It was a surprise for me to find Jimmy Butler on this list right here at number four. Ahead of names such as Kawhi Leonard, LeBron, Chauncey, KD, Steph, Tim Duncan, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Bryant and Paul Pierce? So is Jimmy Butler Michael Jordan's actual son? The answer is uh, probably no. The odds of that seem quite unlikely, although I highly suggest if you've only watched the short watching the entire video, because there is more weirdness to the story. I did not just pull that video up out of nowhere. Again, I found it on NBA Reddit or something, and the research actually goes pretty deep. There is a claim that 23 roses were sent to Jimmy Butler's mom's hospital bed after she gave birth to Jimmy Butler. I mean, that is is just insane. So if that was the case, then yeah, maybe. For now though, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, it would be awesome if you could subscribe and turn on post notifications. Thank you guys so much recently for your support on YouTube Shorts specifically. You guys have been crushing the like button there. Thank you. If you're already subscribed here, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day, guys, and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is queued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more or your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.